Have you got your boxes and your pencils ready? I got this one, and it will be a cow. <laughs> no, that's a sheep. We're making a cow. Woof, woof. Ah, first, let's make a work drawing. I'll close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. What do you need to turn a box into a cow? Well, a pair of eyes, a nose, a mouth, four legs, others, ears, horns, and cow spots. Hooray, a cow! First, we move the drawing onto the box one side at a time. Let's start with the eyes. Then a big round nose, which continues around the side of the box. Below that comes the mouth with teeth and a bottom lip. Inside the nose, draw two nostrils. On each side of the face come the ears. And on top, the horns. The first leg is at the side and bottom of the box. Start drawing on the front and carry it on around the side. Above that, draw an arm. And another arm on the opposite side. The second leg points up a little. And underneath is a lovely big round udder. Finally the tail, which is on the back of the box. Now get your biggest marker pen and go over all the lines with strong bold lines. It's smart to use a pencil first, because then you can plan your cow your own way. And when you're happy with the result, go over the pencil lines with the marker pen. This is how the drawing should look when done. Paint it up. I start with white because it looks so nice and bright against the brown. Check out the lovely contrast we get between the white paint and the brown box. And you know what? That's the most important thing about coloring. Getting good contrast. I'll now mix a warm orange, which goes well with the brown color of the box. Paint it on the nose. And then the others. And the bottom lip. Switch to black and paint the hooves. Nostrils and pupils. Carry on with some dark brown spots. Paint them all over the cow. Wherever you want, as long as you think it looks good. I'll 
I'll swap this cow for another cow that is dry and fully painted. Oh, she's gorgeous! Some of the marker pen lines have been painted over, so I'll just refresh them again. Look how pretty she is now! Now we are ready to... Cut! Now we need to cut and open the box. Ask a grown-up to help you with this. So, cut around the ears, the nose, the arms and legs on one side. Then on the other side. Finally, cut out and fold the horns. I love to fold out parts after I've cut them. It really makes the figures come to life. First, fold out the horns. Then the ears. The nose. The arm and leg on one side. the other side. And we mustn't forget the tail. onto the back side. Oh, she's almost like a proper cow! Glue on some small bits of card to support the horns and the ears. The other bits should be okay without. See it one more time. First, draw the cow on the box one side at a time. Pencil first, then mark a pen. Next, paint the cow with white, orange, black. Fold out the pieces. Stick the tail on and add support for the horns and the ears. And she's done! You can also turn your cow into a bookshelf. Strengthen one side with a piece of cardboard. Cut off the other side so you can put in some shelves. Use cardboard to strengthen the walls and the middle to make the shelves more sturdy. Hey, Box, I need some more ideas. Uh, can you help me? Sure. You can use the same methods to make other things, such as this spice rack from an old pizza box. Or this sock snake from a bunch of cartons. Super silly shelves for a 
super silly friend! I did it! Easy! Hey, check the cow. Now check the shelf. Uncle Bob on top. With a paintbrush. Ha ha ha! There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. Oh yeah! Check that out. Nice. Hello, guys. I'm putting up new videos here all the time, so come back and check out the new stuff.